Antibody drug conjugates, or ADCs, are the emerging class of anti-cancer therapeutic drugs that can deliver highly cytotoxic molecules directly to cancer cells. To date, nine ADCs have received market approval. ADCs has become a powerful class of therapeutic agents in oncology and hematology. Historically, the discovery of anti-cancer drugs has only focused on small molecule chemotherapeutics, such as folate analogs or DNA disruptors. Those drugs target rapidly dividing cancer cells, but at the same time affect other healthy dividing cells in the body, causing serious side effects and limiting the dose, reducing the scope of treatment. ADC directly delivers highly cytotoxic smart molecules to cancer cells through tumor-specific antibodies, so it has a larger therapeutic range than conventional chemotherapy. The origin of ADC can be traced back to Paul Ehrlich, a German physician and scientist a century ago, who proposed the concept of selectively delivering cytotoxic drugs to tumors through targeting agents. Nearly 50 years later, when methotrexate was associated with antibodies that target leukemia cells, Irelic's concept of targeted therapy was first embodied. In 1975, Kohler and Milstein used hybridoma technology to make a milestone development of mouse monoclonal antibody, which greatly promoted the ADC field. The first human clinical trial less than a decade later used the antimitotic vinca alkaloid Vindicin as a cytotoxic payload. Now there are nearly a hundred research ADCs in preclinical and clinical trials. The potential of this new therapeutic class might finally be coming to fruition. To ensure effective internalization, the antigen binding site should have as high a target affinity as possible. In addition, the antibody should also have the lowest immunogenicity and favorable pharmacokinetic properties, thereby increasing the therapeutic advantage. The identity and stability of the linker covalently linking the antibody to the cytotoxic drug is critical to the success of the ADC. ADC drug linkers can be divided into two types, namely cleavable linker strategies and non-cleavable linker strategies. Existing linker connections usually rely on the modification of solvent-accessible cysteine or lysine residuals on the antibody, resulting in a heterogeneous ADC population with a variable drug-antibody ratio, or DAR. Given that low drug loading will reduce drug efficacy, and high drug loading may have a negative impact on pharmacokinetics, DARs will have a significant impact on ADC efficacy. In addition, the linker must remain stable in the system circulation to minimize adverse effects, but must be cleaved quickly after the ADC finds its intended target antigen. There are two main types of ADC payloads. The first category includes drugs that disrupt assembly of microtubules and play an important role in mitosis. The second category of the payload consists of compounds that target the DNA structure and includes kalichi emerson analogs, which bind to the minor grooves of the DNA to cause DNA double strand cleavage. Nowadays, new and more effective cytotoxic compounds have become the focus of preclinical research. For example, PBD dimers covalently bind to the minor grooves of the DNA resulting in fatal interactions due to cross-linking of opposite strains of DNA. When certain portions of the ADC bind to the target antigen on the cell surface of the tumor cell, the complex will be internalized into the cell. Once bound to the antigen, the entire antigen ADC complex will be internalized through receptor-mediated endocytosis. After entering the lysosome, the ADC is degraded and a free cytotoxic payload is released into the cell, resulting in cell death. An important aspect of ADC's mechanism of action is the bystander effect, through which free drugs are exported from tumor cells to the tumor environment through the cell membrane. This has the potential therapeutic benefit of killing neighboring tumor cells, including those that may not have relevant antigens on their surface. 
An effective ADC needs to maintain the selectivity of the original initial antibody while being able to release the linked cytotoxic and effective toxicity at a high enough concentration to kill the target tumor cells. Each step involves multiple unique challenges that complicate an ADC design. Firstly, the antibody needs to maintain high affinity and a stable linker is required to minimize the premature release of the payload and off-target toxicity. Secondly, during endocytosis, ineffective internalization due to limited target antigen levels may prevent the cytotoxin from reaching its threshold concentration in the cell. Finally, the ADC must effectively release the cytotoxic payload in its active form. And even at low concentrations, the effectiveness of the released payload must be sufficient to kill the cells. BOC Sciences provides the most complete solution in antibody drug conjugate drug development services in the pharmaceutical industry. Years of successful operations in the pharmaceutical industry have enabled us to have a complete antibody drug conjugate service system. We provide customers with comprehensive one-stop services for all aspects of ADC research and evaluation, ranging from antibody modification and coupling technology, ADC payload development, payload linker synthesis, ADC coupling to ADC characterization and manufacturing stages. In addition, we also provide an extensive list of linkers, payloads, and payload linker sets. For more than 10 years, BOC Sciences has been committed to providing customers with high quality products and excellent services. Our experienced scientists will help you choose the most suitable products for the ADC project and to promote the development of human health.